This video shows the physical layout of CMOS inverter with multiple fingers in Cadence Virtuoso. For the demonstration, I have considered a CMOS inverter with width 120 nanometer and NMOS width with 120 nanometer. I want to make use of finger concept for the design. So I am increasing the total width to 240, 120 multiplied by 2 will lead me to 240. Now the total width of PMOS is 240. Similarly, the total width of NMOS is set to 240. Check and save the design. Go to the launch. Click on Layout Excel. Create new. OK. The view is Layout. Click OK. It opens another window. Let me remove all this. Now I want to get the layout of the design. Go to the connectivity, generate all from source. I want to place those components within the boundary. Click OK. Press Shift F. This inverter was designed with a width of 240 nanometer and with NMOS and PMOS. Now if you check the properties parameter, it has a PMOS width of total width is 240 nanometer. Now I want to change this to fingers into 2 so that the total width remains as 240. Finger width is 120 multiplied by 2 that will give me the total width as 240. Click OK. Now you can see the design. Similarly this transistor. Click on parameter. Finger width is 120. Number of fingers is 2. Click OK. If you want more space in the active area, just stretch it and this one we have source, gate, drain. Again, this is the source, gate drain a common drain is available here also we have that but a transistor has fourth terminal which is the body or bulk so to get that edit the properties that is select this and press q in that select the body type to be detached then I want to have it on the top. This is the body on the top. Parameter 
not bottom on the top similarly for this transistor also body type detached and i want to have at the bottom tab just increase this if you want to use the fingers you can directly connect the gate to gate for that select the poly press p this poly also these two are connected if you want to see the real time connection go to the window assistance click on navigator so navigator will show you the connections that are to be made ground connection is there vdd v in and v out so first check the v in these are connected you can make this connection as well align them properly now it's okay observe the vn vn is connected now just make the connection with the input pin to make a required connection between metal and poly you require a via go to the create via select metal one poly change the direction towards this now make the connection of the metal one by pressing the path p similarly poly drawing you can see that the connection is properly made in the navigator window now come to the v out so it should be connected change the mode to metal one drawing and if you want you can drag this then move this pin so that we can complete the design as soon as we complete you can notice that the vout is connected properly it is shown in the navigator window this tells you that the connections are made properly now we have to connect vdd two sources are there so select the metal one press p for path similarly for the ground also you can see that these two should be connected to the ground path
and this one as well. Now just make the or make the connection of this. So you can directly press R or use the path for this. Observe the change that the ground is connected properly. Similarly, you need to connect the VDD. It shows that all should be connected together. I'll press R to make the rectangular connection. See all the connections are made. Once this is done, you can go to the Calibri and verify the DRC, LVS and all. This is the layout of the this long size CMOS inverter and this is the layout view of this. So if you select this, this got enabled and if you select this, this is the width of NMOS with 240 nanometer which is split into two fingers.